Hi, wanted to show you something that I ran into just recently, and it took <laughs> quite a long time for me to figure out, so I thought I'd share it with you. The issue is, um, in Google, you have these uh, little icons that appear next to the search result. In this case, I've Googled my name. You have my website here, and here's another website I have, and every website has one. So here's x.com and WP Tavern. But the question is, how do you, let's say you change your logo, or you just want to change this little thing. It's called a favicon or favicon or favicon, but F-A-V-I-C-O-N. But um, I learned recently it's really difficult to fix this and no, <laughs> you have to be a techie to fix this. And that was the strangest thing to me. I can't imagine anybody without <laughs> deep knowledge of technology figuring this out on their own. Um, and even now that I'm going to share the solution, it's probably still, you still have to hire someone to fix it. So this is, I, it blew my mind how difficult this was. Um, but I'm going to share it with you. Um, so at least if you're going to do it, you can email your tech guy and say, hey, look at this video. They're going to teach you how to do it. But the issue is Google stores this as an F SVG file. So they take whatever you give them in terms of your icon and they then re format it into a SVG stored on the Google server and it's never updated <laughs> like, like it could be years later you change it they'll never change it on the Google side um, and I'm just gonna do an inspect here and you'll see here um, you know div class data image so it converted my ping file into this crazy format here that you see and that is what you're seeing it's like this this is a an svg basically it, it says uh ping base six four so it, whether or not it's an svg they're doing some crazy conversion that you can never change unless you do what i'm about to tell you um so let's close that little thing um so the here are the instructions um at, at, at a high level you go to your website and you do command alt u or um, I think it's control alt u or whatever and you view the source and then you're going to look for your favicon and so I'm just going to here's the source of tobycrines.com I'm going to search for fav favicon and you're going to see there's currently four files linked here now this is what Google's pulling uh, originally like it probably pulled this in 2016 for me and maybe I've updated. I don't even know. <laughs> I might have updated this since, but we can kind of click here and see if it's the same. It does look the same in my case, but um, it could be that yours is different. Even, even though it's different here, Google still has the old one. So we have to change the, this code, basically. We have to upload a new file and change these URLs. Now, WordPress sometimes makes it kind of easy to do that. Um, but let's say you do that. That's not enough. You can't just update it in WordPress and have Google update it. They won't update it. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. So even though WordPress updates their stuff here, uh, Google will not. So um, you have to take one of these files, or all actually all of the files, put them in a different location, and then redirect these four URLs to the new location. And so this is where you need a tech person. Like you could never do this if you didn't have a deep knowledge of technology and websites and stuff. But basically you're gonna download these files to your computer. There's four files here and you can do it and then you can right click, save as, and if you're a developer, you know what I'm talking about here. Um, but you're gonna download them. You're gonna upload them to a new location and you could just re-upload them to WordPress, for example. Um, but then you need to go into WordPress or into, um, HT access or however you need to do redirects um, and you need to redirect these images to the new one so these four URLs get redirected to the new URLs but you're not done yet because Google still won't update their stuff then you go to Google and you go to Google search console and you're probably familiar with this and let's say let's say we change this URL from this to let's say we just change it to 2024 and that's where the new URL is we're gonna copy this URL then you paste the URL in there it's going to retrieve the data and it's going to say URL is not in Google because this is not a URL that you would normally put in Google. But you're going to paste this new URL, request indexing, and then cross your fingers, wait a week, and hopefully it fixes. If it doesn't fix it, try it again because that's what I had to do. I had to try it at least twice, but I had tried 100 things prior, didn't work. This is what worked. So you input the new URL of that image and make sure to redirect it on the WordPress end. At some point, if the Lord is looking fondly upon you, your Google search results icon will update.